What it is? What's up? I fucked the intro up again in the cut. Um, this is from heaven, and um, this is some content I'd usually put on my podcast. Uh, the Tell Us This Recital podcast, where I talk about more vague things, uh, abstracts, and just shorter term um, material that I don't feel requires a full length video. And I don't think this does either, but I think there's more eyes on YouTube. There's more people interested in this individual that's linked to this individual. A uh, little ugly man. And I'm hoping that somebody somewhere can give me something to kind of go off of because, you know, I'm, I'm fiending a little bit. So the person we're going to talk about today, Ilwad Awale, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, Stockholm individual. Uh, I do know that much from just what little groups I've done. Um, as far as discography goes, and I'm using RetroMusic.com, which I would think would be the premise of a too intensive outlet for finding anything about this woman. Um, she appeared um, on one of those various band cap compilations that Bill Ugly May did uh, in 2012. Appeared on both three sided tapes. Uh, I believe they both came out that year. I know one came in 2013. Well, 2013. I know one came in 2013. I know that I, the other one came out soon after. So I'm sure they both came in 2013. Um, they both end up on Spotify in recent years. So that kind of throws off uh, the recollection, uh, knowledge, awareness of said projects. But so I digress. And in 2019, on what is apparently a DJ mix by a guy named Colts. Colt. Uh, project was titled K No Saga Stan Luna. Um, I'm assuming that's a call to Stan that chick. Um, someone used what I'm assuming is her vocals, and yes, it's from Clueless to use her vocals and did a mix. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think she has. That's gonna take me to this point. Um, I think she is probably the best if not the best one of the best um vocalists that i've heard that does not actively do music i've checked on her uh internet platforms um you know i i think she appears to like like have like an actual like passion for uh hip-hop at least at some point um i didn't really scroll through all her profile but just from you know, just scrolling through her media and checking her Instagram briefly, uh, which I think is blocked currently, but definitely a passion for music. Uh, maybe reclusive, I would probably assume. And if you like Lil Ugly Man, you're like really deep with Lil Ugly Man, probably a very reclusive person by nature because I think in that situation, Mac is a track. Um, but I think she likes music. Um, I, maybe it just wasn't something she was interested in. Maybe these two people were just friends and... Lovely man, like, yo, I know you can fucking sing this part. She did it and it worked. But I think it's really just something to, to speak to for a second. This guy, Lovely Man, is probably one of the best audio effect uh, engineers, so to speak. What well, the things he does for audio effects, and not just audio effects, but also just a general shock EQs. Um, fucking the, the production making that as hazy as possible is the what he does with dissonance and um harsh noises is probably the best we've had like post like memphis hip-hop uh, horrorcore all that stuff the, the late 90s and early 2000s uh he's you know in a special lane uh and giving um credit to, to those previous genres that came before him but the i think the value of the 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 collaborations they have smoke clears uh clueless too is they pretty much and i honestly god you know I, I don't know this might be his best trait um he plays the back he creates really like this wardrobe this outfit for her to wear and you know it's it's charming it's essential you know it's but it's never it's never heavy. It never takes up more than fifty percent of what you're hearing. I mean, it's always complimentary. And I, you know, Lil Other Man is a good producer for himself, but 
may, maybe some part of why I'm so interested in this person is that this individual like, does not put out many beats for even other people. So it's like I'm fiending for that in some part and uh, far less and less beats as you've gotten farther from his retirement of the Little Ugly Main Project. Um, it's, yeah, this motherfucker is just a good ass, you know, painter. I mean, he painted a picture and I, I, I don't know if vocals came first and instrumental, instrumental came second. But at least with Smoke Clear, it's, I feel like he had a vibe. Uh, but I hate using that word so much. He had he had an image prepared. He had little pieces of the puzzle put together. Um, and he got her on, and, and she killed it. I mean, she knocked it the fucking part. But, God, I, it, it, it's, it's two things that just really, really just grind my gears about how, how little work either of these individuals have together. And this is like, they put out a fucking uh, kind of dream pop, um, you know, kind of Kilo Kish type shit, uh, chill wave type shit. I mean, it would be one of the best projects to come out in any given year since these two collaborated. And it's just a damn shame. And like, you know, I'm not sure that's probably our like distance away from each other at some point by this, by this point in life. And uh, I, I just think we... I think I honestly got that you could you could surmise, and this is supposed to be more of an EOI or Wale video than a little main video, but it's just the, the two connect obviously. My brain is just thinking like you could probably take several different timelines that little main career could have went to after um, Mr. Thug Isolation, and all of them feature like a multitude of studio projects under that alias that all are. Some of the best underground hip hop, if not just straight up, you know, maybe you can hit stardom, just straight up best projects to come out. Uh, Secret Circle, maybe some more wiki collaborations that end up being a project. Even some fucking Yoro Drew shit. I mean, the shit, the, them two together is pretty fucking hot. Um, and instead, you know, we just, whatever he saw in, 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 in his time in, in music and traipsing and almost clutching upon fame um whatever made him more even more reclusive after that you know it is what it is but damn that, that's what really sucks it's like it's like you gotta like think about dave Chappelle in a way and i'm not saying like he was the hip-hop dave Chappelle or whatever you know but a lot of people up until you know what, 2018 he came back 2019 whatever a lot of people like had the lasting notion that we were probably deprived of the funniest fucker post, you know, Eddie Murphy, uh, Chris Rock, uh, Charlie Murphy, Bernie Mac, et cetera, et cetera, of that generation um, because of industry shit. And this industry shit, man, it really, I don't know how much of it was shit that he perceived from other people, that shit happened to himself, or whatever, but that industry shit, I mean, one of the fucking best figures in hip hop did not feel like making fucking hip hop after releasing some of his best shit under hip hop, under his hip hop alias. So it's like you really have a situation in which this industry shit, whatever it was, I don't know the personals of it, took away uh, you know, James artist. But that's the Iwata Wally. Um as far as a comparison, you know, I really don't like comparison pe comparing people because I really like don't know enough um, about sounds and styles and specifics and you know, labels to not that type of label, but labels to put uh, under people to say this and that and that and this. But like, I think the the crowd that will like this uh, very very uh, talented individual would be akin to the aforementioned Kilo Kish. Um, Trying to think to, to more down tempo people like that. Um, my mind is drawing a fucking fart, and I I, I really hate it because I, you know, I kind of try to follow a couple of those people uh, after that. I mean, in, in the way of like, I guess a male artist probably uh, Tori Moy would 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 spark to my mind. Same atmosphere as as a, as a uh, as as Young Lean, although obviously uh, a lot more vocal talent from uh, Illwater Wale, and 
kind of less hip hop ish, but uh, Kill Bill Kid's the, the biggest one that that speaks, that speaks to my mind. I mean, like this that that K plus production. I think it's a little bit more up tempo than I think it will would be over. But she also has a couple verses that I have not listened to. Um, the 2012 one from the Bandcamp. I've listened to that one, and I think it's another one out there. Wearing my chain though that I I listened to like once, but I haven't really give a as much love to it as I give the other two that she's done. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a person that if if you know came out after those couple of albums uh, collaborations decided to pursue music full time would have definitely had a niche in. Some scene by now. Kitty Pride uh, is another one I think would kind of be. I think she's gonna like Kitty now. I think that'd be another similar comparison. Yeah, that's it for me. Um, hope you got something out of this. I, really, I got something out of this because I'm just needed to speak about this fucking person. Some internet platform. I needed people to listen to me. <laughs> and I know that you know there's not many Illwada Wale uh, anything on YouTube, so this might float to the top at some point. And hopefully, someone comments and that's something about oh well she's doing good but she just couldn't do music because of this or i don't really pry into this woman's you know private affairs but like just something that makes me think like maybe one day she'll be back in a uh state into which she could put out music i don't know but shout out to Walla Wale if you are watching this uh shout out to little ugly man who i know probably does not watch youtube probably watch like fucking like old like punk rock uh fucking uh, what's it, Vignettes, Vignettes, whatever, um, Vignette tapes, uh, but if you're watching, shout out to you, and shout out to any Logan main fans, you know, y'all, y'all holding down strong, um, yeah, peace.